churches in New York City uh, that are performed in other jurisdictions. At the time, I think it was just Sweden um, and somewhere else in Norway, maybe, at that point, uh, that had gay marriage. And we actually said that if someone is married in a jurisdiction, now or in the future, that recognizes gay marriage, that we should recognize that marriage in New York City. So that was actually early on. Um, I think, T Tish, were you there for that? Maybe, I think it was a year before Tish got there. A year before. Uh, so uh, that was very exciting. And of course, um, I was uh, one of my first votes in the assembly uh, was for marriage equality. Uh, I later uh, went on to run for Congress in a much more conservative district than my own, with a very large Orthodox Jewish population. And some people have said uh, that I lost that election uh, because of not only my vote on marriage equality, but my co-sponsorship and speaking out on the floor uh, of the assembly uh, being uh, an observant Jew and saying why I thought it was a human rights issue, uh, marriage equality, and uh, it was, we're talking about civil marriage, uh, and we shouldn't be discriminating against anybody. And I made a very dramatic speech on the assembly, which became a campaign issue. But and people have said to me afterwards, would you have changed your vote? You know, would you not your vote, but would you have not spoken out? Would you have not co-sponsored if you knew it could cost you a congressional election? And I said, absolutely not. I did the right thing then, and I'm very proud of that, and I would do it all over again. Woo! Yeah. That's the absolute truth, and it really was a struggle for David. And I remember when those articles came out, David, and how vitriolic they were, and how horrible they were. And uh, yet you stood by your conviction, and you are still here with us today. So thank you very, very, very much, David. Yay! Um, a couple other announcements. We've been joined by Mr. Dots who is from the Jackson Heights Merchants Association. Oh, Mr. Jim Doss, let's hear it by him. Uh, we've been joined by Mr. Muhammad Pierre from the Bangladeshi Business Association over there as well. Yay. Thank you. You know, we had a wonderful pre-Pride concert in Diversity Plaza yesterday. And one of the things that I tried to do was to equate the struggle for LGBT rights with the struggle for our Muslim brothers and sisters and all religious minorities, Hindu brothers and sisters as well, with our struggle for equal rights. Because right. you know what? We're all in it together. Right. We're all going to fight together. We're all going to stand up for each other. And maybe we don't even agree with each other. Like Ed Koch used to say, if you agree with me on 9 out of 10 issues, vote for me. If you agree with me on 10 out of 10 issues, see a psychiatrist, all right? <laughs> but we all live here in Jackson Heights. We all live here peacefully. And I want to thank everybody, especially uh, Mr. Das and Mr. Um, Pierre, for being here with us today. Thank you very, very much for your leadership. We're joined by Unit Ortiz from the Stonewall Democratic Club, the president. Melissa Sklar, the president of the uh, Empire State Pride Agenda, is here. Jessica Ramos is here, my former district leader. Thank you, Jessica, for being here. And Shekhar Krishnan, where is he? Stand up, Shekhar. The president of the New Vision Democratic Club is here. And I know I'm leaving people out. Teresa is here from Aperture. Aperture Yay! is the Asian Pacific Islander Coalition on HIV AIDS, but now just called Aperture. So, Queen's Pride has always been the celebration of our diversity of all that Queen's is. And I think that's reflected here in this room today. It's something that we strive for every day to make sure that people understand that, that people get along here in this community. And we are a shining example for everyone. From day one, even though in 1993, when we had the first parade, we had police on the rooftops. We had a helicopter escort by the NYPD. We were welcomed, however, by the people who live in this community with tumultuous applause. And you're gonna see that again here today. Yay. Yay. And finally, let me just say happy birthday to a very good friend of mine. And that is to Ann Quation. Ann, where is Ann? <laughs> Ann is 85 today. And she's still running. Oh, yeah. 84. All right, who's the girl in this year? All right. Birthday to you. Happy birthday. Alright, 
And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this Jewish center is a phenomenal Jewish center. You can come here on any night of the week, and in this Jewish center you will see Muslims in here, you will see evangelical Christians in here, you will see lesbian and gay people in here, and once in a while you'll see Jewish people in here. <laughs> But the president of this Jewish center and his wife Susanna here, Steve Nobel, who did the breakfast this morning. Steve, please stand up. Suzanne Nobel, we thank you, we love you. You are a, such a valuable resource to this community, Steve. Sage Queens, or what was formerly Sage Queens, the Queens Center for Gay Seniors meets here every day. By the way, they offer free lunch. Come in, eat lunch. Is it kosher lunch, Steve? Yes. Kosher lunch right here, but everybody can eat kosher, right? Yes, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and you're all welcome to come. Steve, thanks for hosting us, because when that fire occurred in the Brewston building, they lost their home, but they have found a new home here in the Jewish Center of Jackson Heights. Thank you. Yes. All right, so, the idea now, the parade has been extended, by the way. We're back up on 89th Street, so that's good news, right? That's due to our new administration. Mayor Bill de Blasio, let's give him a round of applause, is our Grand Marshal. He is the only mayor to march in the Queen's Pride Parade. Giuliani and Bloomberg never did it. He did it last year for the first time, and this year he is the uh, Grand Marshal of the parade. So I want everyone to go out, have a great time, enjoy yourselves, and uh, happy gay pride to everybody. Thank you.